Now, Atheist Girl and I crossed paths before some time ago, and she tried to sick her 64,000 followers on me way back then, but after I ended up making her and her followers look extremely stupid, she decided to then start accusing me of harassing her, when in reality, she was the one who tried to harass me to begin with and failed miserably. But wouldn't you know it? Here we are with her trying to do it again. Quick recap. Yesterday, I was scrolling through X and happened upon one of her posts. And as you can see, she was trying to harass the Ark Encounter account. You know, that whole amusement park that does the Noah's Ark thing. She was trying to harass him with this ridiculous termite comment that's really only funny to morons who don't actually know anything about termites. And then she proceeded to try to harass this boozy bluebird person who responded to her by once again sicking her 64,000 followers on him. Well, having been on the other end of her harassment targeting before, I figured I'd help the person out by pointing out how little Atheist Girl seems to know not only about historical evidence of a great flood, but also how little she knows about termites. Then I went on about my business and just started binge watching some show with my fiance and eventually went on to bed. But when I woke up this morning, she had launched her horde on me once again, which I really got to thank you because I know I've been lacking in creating content lately. And frankly, you've inspired me to start up again. So I'll give you all a lesson in entomology, utilizing my 18 years of working in the entomology field to explain once and for all why this completely unoriginal and overused termite joke in relation to Noah's Ark is not only not funny, but is actually freaking moronic. As I stated in my post, termites don't actually eat wood, to which this asshole thought he was going to, quote, own me with this little screen grab he shared. And so now it's time for me to make him look like the absolute moron he is by elaborating on his little screen grab. Yes, termites actually eat cellulose, not wood, despite the fact that your screen grab keeps saying wood. Different types of wood have different concentrations of cellulose. Softer woods like pine have a higher concentration, where harder woods like cedar have a lower concentration. Hence the reason why harder woods very rarely experience termite damage. Scripture suggests that the ark was built out of something called gopher wood, which is believed to have been a type of now extinct hard cedar which would imply that it had a lower concentration of cellulose, meaning it was less likely to sustain termite damage. Second, the only members of a termite colony that possess the ability to extract cellulose from wood or other organic matter for that matter, are the workers, all of which are non-reproductive females, by the way, meaning they don't reproduce and would serve no purpose being on a vessel designed to continue a species existence. But I digress. The only member of a termite colony that reproduces is a queen, though older queens can produce up to 30,000 freaking eggs a day. New queens start out producing only about six to 12 individual eggs, you know, like a dozen or less. During this time, the queen is not feeding as it is completely dependent upon her six to 12 young maturing into workers so they can then go out and collect the cellulose she needs and bring it back to her and feed it directly to her through a process called trophallaxis, which is the regurgitation and defecation of the cellulose directly into the queen's mouth parts. Now, a queen termite can live without food for up to about two weeks at a time which is quite beneficial because it takes those six to 12 workers quite some time to forage and return with food. They're also not supplying the queen with enough nourishment to start mass production of eggs. In fact, throughout the first year of a termite queen's egg production, she usually only produces less than 100 eggs in total. Now, according to scripture, the ark was at sea for 150 days. That would have resulted in a total of approximately 35 to 40 eggs, with only about 15 to 20 of them having matured to adult worker status. The others would have still remained in a nymphal stage or had morphed into a soldier's cast. Seeing as how a queen doesn't start producing secondary reproductives or primary reproductive swarmers until a colony is at least two years old, there's zero chance that any of the other termites would have been reproducing. 
So needless to say, if a person were collecting different species in an effort to ensure their survival and storing them on a wooden sea craft, that person would only need a single pregnant female termite stored in a clay jar with soil and a single small piece of soft wood to sustain the very few offspring the queen termite would have produced during that time period. And even if the person didn't store them in such a manner, there wouldn't be enough termites to cause any type of structural damage during the time duration indicated by scripture. 15 to 20 termites just aren't going to extract and consume enough cellulose to really cause any type of damage over the course of five months. Which would mean that if the Noah story is true, and if he had stowed termites on the ark, they would not have posed any kind of significant threat to the ark as atheist girl is moronically suggesting. So, no. This joke isn't funny or clever at all. If anything, all it does is prove her ignorance once again. What's this? Talk about it.